Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial that is going to show you how you can connect up your Calendly account to your Mailer Lite account. Reasons you may want to do this is that when you have people signing up for your events that you have in Calendly, such as discovery calls, power hours, masterclasses, whatever it is, you may want them to also be included in your email marketing in the future. Obviously, make sure that you make note of this in Calendly to tell them that they will be added when booking this call with you to your email marketing system for GDPR reasons. What you want to do is in Calendly itself, you don't have to do anything apart from make sure that you have it basically set up your event. And then what you're actually going to do is we are going to go into Zapier. If you haven't got an account with Zapier, it is free um, for what you require it for. You can purchase it, but you will probably just need the free version. So what we are going to do is go on to the dashboard settings. Next up, we are going to connect Calendly. So I'm going to put Calendly in here. And then what are we connecting it to? We are connecting it up to Mailer Lite. So we're going to type that in there and then we're going to click make as app. Now, before we go any further, what we want to do is make sure we have everything set up in MailerLite. So log into your MailerLite, and then I want you to go onto subscribers, and then groups, and then create group. Now, what you may want to do is actually have it so that they're in a separate group. So let's call it Calendly, and then click create. And then next up, we're going to need a field as well, a custom field, and it'll make sense soon. So just click add new field and call this field something like Calendly event type and then press create. Happy it did. Now what we're going to do is go back to Zapier and then Calendly is already selected and we're going to choose the trigger as an invitee is created and then press continue. And then here in the Calendly account section, you would connect your Calendly account. Mine's already connected and then you would press continue. And then you would do a test trigger. Now, please don't test using an actual real life person who's purchased something or booked a session with you. Go on to your own calendar like I have here, as you can see, I have just booked one randomly just so that I could ensure that I could test this out. Now, this is a paid session. So what I did have to do was I had to go into my power hour and take payments off just for the time being while I tested it. So now I've got them purchased, I can activate my payments again and press save. So once you've done a test yourself, so you've purchased, not purchased, but you've done and booked an event yourself, you would then click test trigger inside Zapier. And as you can see, it's pulled through my details here. And then we're just going to click continue. And then here you can see mail light and it'll ask us what we want to do. So we want to create or update a subscriber and we're going to press continue. It will ask you to connect your account. Mine's already connected. It will ask you for details such as an API key. To get this at the top right, you just click on your profile and then integrations. And when it says developer API, just click use. And it will give you this API key. And that may be what it asked for in Zapier. And then we're going to just click continue. So we're going to choose the group that we want it to go to. So we could have wanted it to go to our master list or we might want it to just go to a calendar list so i'm going to choose calendly and then the email here this is basically the email field inside of mail line and you're telling zapier to put some information there so the information we want is the email address that they use to book the event which is here can you see where it says invite e email and then it's got my email address and then for the name, again, we can just choose the invitee name. And then all the other things that we need to do now is find this custom field that we made called Calendly Event Type. Now, if we click into there, we can then choose this event type name. Now, the reason that is good for, I will show you in a second, but it's good for when you want to say, send an email address only to the people who booked an automation power hour, because you could have several different events. If you look at my Calendly, I've got strategy sessions, one-to-one -one meetings, power hours, client discussions, and new client meetings. So it could be any one of these events that somebody books and it gets pulled through. But then if I just click continue, I will be able to scroll down 
and click test and review. And what that will do, it will test to see if it's, so it's, as you can see, a subscriber has been sent, it'll test it. If we go into subscribers, we can see that I am there. And because I was previously unsubscribed, it won't let me resubscribe. So already I noticed that I've got an issue on my own. Because I need to change this up here. This resubscribe. You won't have to do this. It's just because I, I test around with this account and I've deleted myself out. But there we go. No, it doesn't like me. But it has worked. It's put me in there. It's just because I've actually deleted myself out previously, it's not letting me re-add myself in. Once you've done that, all you need to do is click turn on Zap. Happy days. And then give your Zap a name at the top, such as Calendly. So, mail light. And that's it. You are all set up. You are all done and dusted. No issues. All sorted. If you did like this video, make sure to hit the like button, drop us a comment, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos that may be coming out. Take care, everybody, and have a fantastic day.